hi guys so this is my analysis update on the xy guys what are we expecting on the xy i'm just gonna do a really quick recap on the xy based on my previous analysis so that i'll be able to analyze our current analysis so if you watch my previous analysis i think we were around this area right here i have two scenarios my first scenario was i'm predicting um the xy to get to 103.953 around that area right there that was my first prediction around that area and i said that um when we get there we'll determine if we're going to continue to push to the upside or to the downside and i also predicted that um if the xy pushed to the downside this would be our target 102.945 right here and that will be our uh, tp1 and this will be our uh, tp2 will be 102.707 around that area right there so that was my prediction for the xy as you can see that the xy pushed to the upside at first but we didn't get to our targets right we only got to around this area right here before tanking to the downside it's my target 102.945 before pushing to the upside to eat our buy target as well which is 103.953 so that is how we know that we don't predict the market we react to the market sometimes we might know where our target is going to be but it might not get to the target the way we think it to get to and that is why we have to be open-minded when we are analyzing so now guys now that um, I'm done with the previous analysis. I'm just going to delete my old analysis and just reanalyze um, the XY based on the current price action. So now you know, right, that I like to go to a bigger time frame to do my analysis. So I do what it's called top down analysis, but just in case that doesn't. Um, haven't watched my analysis before like my new subscriber so i like to do top down analysis tda i think that just actually just help in knowing like the overall direction of the market so now this is my daily time frame we can see that we finally have this kind of engulfing candle right here right so let's see i'm going to adjust my trend line right now based on the current price so as you can see that now that we are at upper trend right i'm predicting it to at least get to my negative 61.8 percent of level which is 104.636 but we have to be mindful of how this candle will finally close right because if we have like an if you have a zone right here we can see that it closes above that zone right here we currently reject around this area right here then it closes above that zone then there's a possibility for us to just continue to tank to the upside and like i said this will certainly be my target for the up move overall six So now go to my four hour time frame let's just see how that plays all right just for more clarity i'm just going to draw the zone right here just shows that we are currently on an option right we can see that based on my four hour time frame the candlestick did not really close above that level right there right so that is a little bit sketchy for me just because i've not seen like enough momentum on the four hour time frame for buy yes we do close above that zone but we didn't close enough right like i saw this weak rejection right here then solidified it that much right based on how the market is working so i need like more proof for us to know that we might continue to push um to the upside right so let's see so we can see right here that on our um this is our three hour time frame the candlestick there's this candlestick that um close really boom momentum above the zone above the zone so there's a possibility for us to actually tank to the upside based on that right 
So let's go. So don't forget that we are currently rejecting. Um, so I think we might just continue to give like an instant something like this and push to the upside. I see that. Let's go to more smaller time frame to see any momentum, right? Let's adjust the trend line. A smaller time frame. So let's see how the market is playing. I might draw a mini fib right here from point A here to point B. Let's change the color to blue. So based on what we are seeing right now, we might see a bit of a push to the downside before continuing to push to the upside. I see that happening for us to have like a possible retest around that area. Yeah, I see that. Then uh, if you continue to push to the upside, my next target is certainly be Round around here will be my next target. So one. Like I said, I think we might push down a little bit. Let's see from here to here. So I see it's pushing down a little bit before pushing to the upside, right? So maybe something like this. Then get to either this level right here. Or we might touch my 61.8% free level. So let's see how the market plays around this area right here. And this area right here for retest. So I think we might just come down, like I said, retest this area. Then how it reacts around this area will determine if you're pushing to the upside or if you're going to tank to the downside, right? So that will determine our next um, action. So if you're pushing, if you reject, if you start rejecting multiple sign, I see like weak rejections on the zone, right? Then a buy. And this would be my target. If it breaks down, retest and continue to push it downside, that certainly this is my next target right here for a down move. So if you're pushing to the upside, I'm predicting right around there will be my TP for now, right? Even if it's overall, my TP is 104.369. But because I'm an interday trader, I can take you one step at a time, right? So that would be like my first TP. Then if you get more momentum, you will buy. Then certainly this would be my um, TP too. Just like I said, right? If we come down here and we see a lot of rejections, then we might just push to the downside. And if you're pushing to the downside, certainly this is my first target. We might still push down a little bit more. But I don't like to be greedy, right? So I think this is enough because we know there is this imbalance right here that needs to be filled. So that's a good spot to actually take TP off. And we can see if I zoom to the left side, we can see that this zone is a significant zone, right? We have rejected in that zone multiple times, right? So I just think it's just normal for us to take TP right here and don't be greedy for us to want to take it. Because it might still push down to this trend line, but we don't have to be greedy, guys. So this is my thought on the XY, guys. Um, let's see how the market plays, right? 
and let's see because even if we don't push down here we might just give some sort of like a consolidation around here to give us this kind of buy flag and push to the downside either this or push down to the zone before giving us the flag, um the buy so it's either both right let's see how the market is going to react so guys so this is my quick thought on the xy guys hope you guys can find it helpful if you do please don't forget to subscribe comment like and share and i'll see my next analysis guys thank you for watching bye